Hi, I'm Laurie A. Couture, author of Instead of Medicating and Punishing in the upcoming book, Nurturing and Empowering Our Sons. Why do we need a White House Gender Policy Council that equally includes boys and men? There are hundreds and hundreds of foundations, organizations, programs, campaigns, and initiatives, plus several government offices, supporting the empowerment and needs of girls and women, but not one supporting the empowerment of boys and men. Research has found that boys are at least half the victims of sexual assault, dating violence, and child sex trafficking. Boys are the primary victims of community and gang violence, the primary victims of youth homicide, and the primary victims of child abuse, including fatal child abuse. Boys also wait the longest in the foster care system to be adopted. Before I adopted him, my son was one of the thousands of abused boys who cycled through multiple foster and group homes before finding a forever family. And some never do. Boys and young men bear the brunt of traumatizing and neglectful practices in the family and in all of our society's institutions, including parent-child attachment problems, lack of nurturing for mothers, alienation of fathers, punitive mothers, absence of fathers, corporal punishment, circumcision, daycare, developmentally inappropriate school curriculum, inadequate outdoor play, mass psychiatric labeling and drugging, screen addiction, inadequate outreach services for male victims of sexual violence, inadequate boys and men's health campaigns, inadequate prevention of violence against males, discrimination in the legal system against male victims, young offenders, and young fathers, and incessant shaming messages in the media. That's a lot to handle when you're a kid. That's why it's no surprise that boys and young men ages 10 to 24 account for about 81% of suicides in that age category. 81%. Developmental trauma is at the root of suicide in boys and young men. Think it can't happen to your son. Think again. My son's suicide is a nightmare I'll never wake from. But you can stand up, speak out, and demand better for your son. A White House gender policy council that is inclusive of boys and men isn't just equality. It's a life and death necessity.